Hello world! It's the 20th of June 2020 I'm just going to read a few poems <laughs> from my book Musicals which you can buy online Just Google Damien Buller Musicals It's Sunset Over East Lothian That's Trapping Law That little pill over there, it's much more epic when you get closer Anyway, I'm just going to read through some of my sonnets and other songs and odes that are in this poem Skip through it. It's basically a journey from Scotland through UK into Italy and India. This is my country. Good morning, Great Britain. Still great, still Britain. The sun is shining. 10.45 a.m. 296 pound 26 pence in my pocket. Tap to bet it all on black and hit the road again. If time is a mere scratch and life is nothing and nothing that occurs is of the slightest importance. Aberdeen to Birmingham. Arundel and Deal, Dulles Hill to Rotherham, Bristol and Peel, Inverness to Liverpool, Leeds and Palmer's Green, Lewisham to Paddyham and all the pubs between, till my body breath expires. This is my time, this is my rhyme, this is my country. Paisley. I'm cringing every time I see a garish Paisley tie. I just popped hungry into Greg's, a hottest part to buy, and chose a steak and kidney offered up for 90p. I took the pie, she took the change and said, it's 93. I said, love, that's false advertising, storming out the door, but never mess with Ouija birds, they're proper fucking hardcore. She leaping from her humdrum, fast pursued me down the street, looking as if an earthquake were shaking a slab of meat. She panted now beside me, squeezed the pasty from me hand, smugging with satisfaction at her petty jobs with stand. Turning her tail in triumph, as back to her shop she skips. You could have balanced 93 bad brad is on those fat hips. What am I going to do with that? I said. You're off your fucking rocker. She basilisked the gears like lead. Said, fuck ye, like a docker. Fuck ye, like a docker. Then looking down on what was left, my skin all bruised with mints. I thought I'd catch the first train out. Ain't ever been back since. Let's go to Burnley now. Burnley. It's called home. You must know Burnley to see its beauty, to its Hamilton and Pendle where she lies. Thou fertile region of the North Country, of bingo halls and market stalls and pies, of cobblestones and bovis homes and lanes, of working men and the working men's pride, of balmy days and snowy greys and rains and blatantly the world's best football side. You must know Burnley to see its beauty, the arches and the chimneys and turf moor. Stately halls of Gawthorpe and Townley, the station and the bus stop and my door. You can keep your New York, Delhi and Rome. At the end of day, pal, there's no place like home. First kiss. I was a six year child when first I felt my soul entwining with the fairer sex. Emerald eyed neighbour, who one starry night said, Have you ever kissed a lass before? Of course, I yelped. But grandmas do not count. And as we kissed, she giggled at my lips, closed shut and clamped by frigid innocence. I said, and said, no, not like that, you kissed like this. And showed me how my mouth should act a fish. Soon sprinting home, embarrassed at the deed, that never was repeated, I believe. For looking back, I was in tender days, contented with the kisses of grandmas. And meowing of little corgi cars. Clubbing it. So not on, not on the town with lads. Best have a swig of beer for that one. How many minutes have we got on? 3.30. Right. Right, where's next? West Ham's on the orbit. Nah man, too late. The Hass? Nah, the beer shit. Sankey's? Nah man, it's closed down. Wigan Pier? Nah man, there still is a proper well, well dear. Let's hit Blackpool. Find a cheap B&B and pick up some chicks from a hen party. Nah, I've been there, worn the crap hat. Come on, team. Let's go unleash li these libidos down cream. Rising the freeway, babbling about the dam. We techno banging bam, 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 blam. Mint mix, Richie. Yeah, Angels, 96. He are demo. Tom Mojo, who's next? Nix. Amsterdam in it. We troll the long haul of the motorway and pick up more potheads past Birmingham. Jelly wobbles on the waves to Calais. Mojo pukes in the lowlands near the dam. We rush to relax in the smoky cafes, try purple haze and buy sense of Amelia. Each Stella and space cake skanks up the days of a mushroom gilded psychedelia. We tram through dam to the sleazy district, pluck up Dutch courage for socky fucky. 
crackhead oars, slink at doors, wink to be picked. It's a shame when you pay to get lucky. Skunked up, smash a foot, zombie bush, bong tubes. Grass stashed up Nicky's ass, more jaws, itchy pubes. <laughs> it's an old school poem, that. The Lost Poem. I wrote a poem once at Stockport, not far from the gates of Europa. My friend was driving there one sunny day, smoking reefers and talking about life changes. We ended up in a funky metal scrapyard, one of those places you never thought existed, like when you were younger and joked about where all the lost odd socks went. But this place was the real deal, full of Volkswagen carcasses, camper vans and beetle hulks, and a couple of greasy mechanics chilling in the sun. Well, Nicky looked at a 90 Nicky bumper, I was suddenly inspired to write a few desolate lines about decaying earth and the dwindling fuel reserves, and finished it off with an arty kind of twist about discovering an old photograph of myself, holding a young lady. She was wearing beads, sat upon perhaps the beach of San Remo. All that never really happened, but all poems need an end. Away from the page in a momentary dream, I began to imagine, as poets, true poets do, what we've been doing, that pretty girl and I. So I stashed it away, a single piece of sheet of paper folded several times, constantly forgetting to tart the blighter up, until it turned up in a book I was reading, Livy's remarkable early history of Rome. I packed it on my mission round the Baltic, where, trawling about the soft streets of Stockholm, wondering what the hell all the plastic cows were for, every time I picked it up the sheet fell out the pages, constantly reminding me that I should make it safe. It'll only take a second, but I never took the time. I found myself having one of those sublime moments, sun setting as I made my evening meal on the forecastle of the hotel boat I was staying on. The splish splosh of the waves and a gust of sea breeze blew out the sheet as I turned the page to float on the air like a falling feather. Time was standing still, the paper started falling. Slips through the narrowest of cracks between boards to be found in the distant future by somebody breaking up the hole for scrap. From Stockport to Stockholm flew my fine words, and now I've gone and bloody lost them. I was well gutted at first, like the time my girlfriend ran off with a German, but as I pondered home to my cabin empty-handed, past painted memorials of the age of sail, I had a remarkable epiphany. At last, my poem had a proper end. West Enders. We're in London now. It was a quintessential English evening, all about town and the capital's core. On my arm, a wonderful fluttering, perfectly amenable to the tour. We met in a wine bar off Trafalgar to dwell within a cosy eatery, then took our places at the theatre for the mouse traps befuddling mystery. Oh, the night brimmed a goblet romantic, and our spirits, yes, they sparkled as the stars. Rosie was a gentle alcoholic, floating, flirting through her favourite bars. When to the charms of Big Ben's booming bells, we jumped the last train down to Tunbridge Wells. On coming together, I'll never pass another night as sweet as ours was yesterday, when all the world was set to right and angels play. Tingling, romancing, dancing tongues went tender twisting, while your eyes contentment shone, we heard the songs the seraphim devise. When like the running of a race, we reached the rope, their souls unpent, and stroking, stroking te trembling thighs, your face showed passion spent. Ah, alas, we set the world aright, while angels played. Rose's school run. Oh my God, I'm having a nightmare. Fuck, look at the fucking time. Shut up. The kids are doing me head in with their school stuff everywhere. Here's your shoes, here's your socks, here's your fucking sandwich box. Mummy, don't swear. Oh my God, it's ten to nine now and my car keys just aren't there. Will it rain? Will mum call? Will I end up on the dole? Oh my God, it's five to nine now and the traffic's hit a wall. Honeymoon. Oh no. Skipping through. Pisa, Italy. The language of lust, that's the second one, I'll do that separately sometime. So now we're going to Italy. I'm going to read this one out in Italian, it's called Vagabondo. Solo, sono stato viaggio, dalle complessità senza vita, di villaggio a villaggio, panorami di vista a vista, oh, sospiri del viaggio, oh, scheletro cata di calcata, solo sono stato viaggio, dalle complessità senza vita. Stelle quando sono campaggio, pensiero sul pas passaggio. Oh, 
il sole bellano di Ponce, o piazza confortabilmente, o bellazza di Porto Venere, o non complicato mezza vita. Below Scapello, this is a place in Sicily. So you see how we've moved from Scotland through Burnley to Sicily. Not everybody's journey, but it was man. To become, to belong, Bohemian. So many miles my smitten songsmith sent, striving for prospects paradisian, in an, in an immortal moment's monument. Time carves us this vista Tyrrhenian, tranquillo corner of a continent. To become, to belong, Bohemian. So many miles my smitten songsmith sent. This rocky cove, this tower, this mountain, blend in an often prophesied fusion. Sweet Sicily, sat silent and content. Recently, have my dreams increasing seen visions of places I have never been, where I should sit a songsmith and invent. Men get PMT too. She moans about her hormones every second week in four. Goes clattering the cutlery and slamming every door. Like when we went to Sicily and found a paradise. But she was full of PMT and said it's not that nice. Yet women are man's reason. So when swings the pendulum, put on your safety helmet for the fireworks to come. She sucks and yells, her belly swells, her paranoia grows. Now fear the snarling werewolf where you once could smell a rose. Cause women sink up to the moon. That's just the way things are. So never say irrational or let her drive the car. But arguments are coming whether sun is light or not, so sip each sentence carefully like coffee far too hot. And though you'll feel frustrated in this very vocal war, letting your lady win will just infuriate her more. But when the fun is over, son, there's one thing you must do. Embrace your woman, kiss her lips and whisper, I love you. We're off to Greece now. Oh, Castalian Spring. This is like the... Castilian Spring, it's at Delphi, and you're supposed to drink from it and become a poet. Or Lord Byron went there, so I thought I didn't need to do it at all. So, how, so how many minutes are we on? Twelve. Jesus. So, this is the heartbeat of poetry, from holy Parnassus up rising sheer. These Magi waters of Empyrean, pulsed down from such a theatre of stone, then pouring through the depths of my studies, where in a sketch I see gargoyle faces, perhaps by a hobhouse in Lord Byron's life, who came up to, to taste this ancient spring, upon the, his very famous pilgrimage. While mine is ended here, I sup the mead, faint hint of minerals, revitalised, I swear to all my muses I shall be a poet still, and if they ride with me to Scotland, I shall build them temples there. Okay, we're off to India now. Do you know what? I'm going to leave it there, and we're going to do the rest of the India poems in a in a one in the in the future. So, thanks very much. Uh, if you want to subscribe or donate, please do. Then you can buy the book. All the best. See you next time.